Welcome back everybody to the Sprinkler channel. Today we're going to be talking about automatic drains and how they're used and what their purpose is and where exactly they should be installed if you're going to install some on your sprinkler system. All right, so let's get started. This is an automatic drain and uh, they're used to be able to put on the PVC pipes that go on the ground so that way when the system shut off they can automatically drain the water out of the pipes and then say at the end of the season instead of maybe blowing out the sprinklers that they'll that they'll automatically drain and you won't need to push air through the pipes to get the water out to keep them from freezing now how, how do these automatic drains work um, sometimes people might think well they're going to be leaking water all the time um, and how they're engineered is when the pipes are pressurized there's no water that seeps out of this and then when the pipes are no longer pressurized then the valve opens up and it allows the water to slowly drain out of the pipes like that so for instance on your sprinkler system all the way from your you know main shutoff valve to your valves it's constantly pressured 24 7 as long as that main shut off or turn on is on then all that that whole pvc pipe up to your valves is pressurized all year long and and only when you turn on your different zones does it allow it to go past the valves right so so if these were installed say uh between the sh main shut off and your valves where it's always pressurized they're never gonna uh, let water out until you turn off your sprinkler system at the end of the season and then Then they will let the water start draining from those lines whenever they're, they're not pressurized um, Another important thing to realize is um, It's important where these are installed because uh, Of course the water is gonna go to the lowest point. So ideally these are installed at the lowest point in the PVC pipe so you know if you have a sloping yard or whatnot before it gets to the uh, valves or something you want to have them drain then you want these installed at the lowest points that's the bottom line have them installed at the lowest points so all the water comes to these points and seeps out of the pipes like that if you do install them on given zones then of course every time that zone goes off then it will drain those pipes. And that might be something that you don't want to have happen. So just take that in consideration. Make sure you install them uh, at the lowest points and know that they're gonna drain the water whenever it's not pressurized. So, and here is a uh, three quarter inch uh, uh, by half inch T. So three quarter inch pipe would go on each side like this, just uh, as if your pipe was running along into your trenches. And then this is a half inch uh, threaded uh, T right here that will fit this drain, automatic drain. So then you could, you'll could you put Teflon on those threads and then screw it into this. Now it's really also important that uh, it's not sitting like this in the ground because when the water goes off, it needs to be able to drain out there. The water's not gonna drain, of course, going up. So you want them slanted downwards at least. And ideally, I think it's a good thing not to have it like fully uh, uh, pressure right on top of the drain like that. Um, so it doesn't damage the drain as, you know, if, if it was to sit on top and have that pressure on top of it. So I normally would install them kind of at a 45 or whatnot, because then the water still can seep out of the bottom of the, of the piping and yet there's not all the pressures on the drain like that so that those are the automatic drains um, and that's the use cases for them hope that helps if you have any questions leave them in the comment and we'll catch you in the next one thanks